Hi everyone, my name's Sean and welcome to Lux. This is a channel dedicated to filmmaking and creativity and today we're looking at how to connect an M1 MacBook up to a dual monitor system just like this one and get everything working seamlessly. This is really important for photo and video editing, 3D design and just general productivity. I always find myself being so much more productive with two monitors and just using that single screen on a laptop nowadays is quite difficult sometimes. Watch the very end of this video to find out a trick to get your dual monitors working even with your laptop closed for that full minimalist setup. I'm using a MacBook Pro, but I also have a Dell laptop, and so these steps are actually relevant for PC as well, and it's not just a Mac tutorial. Anyway, enough talk, here's what you need. I'm using the Dell D3100 docking station. This supports dual 4K displays, but anything with display link and two HDMI outputs will work fine for a basic setup. I use this hub as it has multiple USB connections for my mouse, keyboard, and my headphones. So firstly, you're gonna need a laptop. This is the M1 MacBook Pro. Now this only has USB-C outputs, so I need a USB-C to USB-A dongle. I got this from the Apple website. You then need a USB Type A to Type B super speed cable. This came with the hub, thankfully. The hub itself, like I say, is the D3100. You need a power cable for the docking station, which it came with. You need high quality HDMI cables. I recommend the mono price cables, which I get from Amazon. And finally, you're just gonna need two high quality monitors. And don't forget the power for those as well. Connect all the HDMI cables between the monitors and the hub. Then connect the power to the monitors and the hub. Then finally connect the MacBook to the hub. Now if all's going well, nothing's happened yet. Now after connecting everything up, go onto your MacBook and visit the DisplayLink website and download the DisplayLink Manager Graphics Update suitable for your operating system. You can check which operating system your laptop is using by clicking on the Apple logo in the top left and then clicking on About This Mac. There can be a link in the description so you can find that website nice and easy. Now, once downloaded, you'll need to ensure that it's installed on your MacBook and is open. Look for the display link icon in the taskbar. This is really important. Now this may take a bit of playing around with the monitors, but both should start receiving signal quite quickly. You can head over to your system preferences on your Mac and click on displays. You should now see the arrangement tab that wasn't there before. Now click on that and move the virtual monitors into position where they are in the real world. Now you can double check that your mouse moves smoothly across all of the monitors in the correct position as well. Make sure that it goes from each of the monitors and that they're all working, including the laptop. And well, that's it. Take a deep breath and gently click on the like button on this video and subscribe for more helpful content. But that's not all. Hopefully by this point you do have a working setup. However, if you are having issues, drop your questions in the comments and let's all help each other out. Here's some of the steps that might help you now though. If it still isn't working, this could be one of a few different issues that's actually causing this. But the first steps are to check the cables. Check that the monitors and the display link hub are all powered and check that all the cables work independently by swapping them around. If all else fails, start this video again and go through each of the steps, but slow the video down to be certain that you haven't missed anything. I know I do talk quickly sometimes and so some people find that helpful. Remember that the monitors are going to be running off software driven graphics. Now this is fine up to say 4K, but if you are planning on doing anything crazy with these monitors like editing 8K footage or anything like that, just expect that this is not the perfect setup and you may experience graphics issues on rare occasions. Now here's that additional trick out I promised you. Now if you want to use the external monitors but actually close the laptop and keep using it, you're going to need an app. The app is required to disable the automatic sleep when the lid is closed. Now the best one I found for this is an app called Insomniax which cost me one pound and you can get it off the app store. It does now mean that I can use a stand for the MacBook and make it a bit more minimalist. I was, was looking at the 12 South book arc for this. I think that would look really good on the new desk that I've got planned to come into the office soon. Now, that was everything. Please leave a like if you found this helpful, or if you knew some of this already, give a hand to the people that may be struggling in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and join the Lux community. Thanks for watching. See you soon.